So we're here at the India Gate. This is day one of the India ride. Whatever happens on our journey, it starts right here and it starts today. So let's do it. down in Old Delhi and this is our, a little bit of our first interaction with kind of real India, real, real Delhi. We made it up to the Rotong Pass. We've been riding 50 kilometers from Manali, straight up the side of a mountain, all switchbacks. It's some of the worst, uh, worst roads I've seen in my life actually. It started off in rain yeah. to like ridiculous road construction and it had been raining deep potholes, deep puddles, slipping and sliding all over the place. So we're just here in the car, we're heading to the Himalayan Adventure Center and we're doing a paragliding today. How oh. weird is it running off? Running off is horrible because you feel like you should never run off a mountain. No, never. And the guy just says, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Come on, don't go off! Run, 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 You're like, oh my god, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna It took me like five seconds in, until I realized I wasn't running on ground anymore. <laughs> so here we are at the Karni Mata uh, Hindu temple in Rajasthan near Bikinar. And uh, this, is, this is nicknamed the Rat Temple. It just... You know, it's a real smell. It's, um, it's a rat infested temple. <coughs> infested brings a lot of negative connotations. Uh, uh, a temple full of rats. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that I don't know if that sweetens it anymore, but. So, in this room, is 800 barrels. Each barrel has 300 bottles of wine. That's 24,000 bottles of wine right here. Right here, exactly. It's stunning, eh? Yeah, it's so peaceful. So we're just here in Kalachak, which is in a, a small town in West Bengal. And we've been stuck in this traffic jam that goes through this city. And we don't even know why this traffic jam exists and it just looks like it's volume. You know, these little roads, they, they come into these towns and everyone just gets stuck. And there's rickshaws trying to cut across and there's animals and donkey carts. Look at all these people behind me. No one moves. And there's no accident, there's no road construction, there's nothing. It's just volume. And it's insane. Yeah, you ride through so much smog and dust and, and, and just fumes from cars and every night when you get in your face is dirty. It's just, I wish I had this to jump into every night. Where are we? The uh, southernmost tip of India. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we made it. We've, we did make it. Today's actually the halfway point in our journey. Uh, both by kind of kilometers and by distance and by time. And this is the place to watch the sunset. Also known as Sunset Point. You wake up every morning and you, you, you get trucks trying to run you over all day and potholes the size of SUVs and uh, kids running out on the street and then every day you're just trying not to get hit. It's just crazy. Um, I'm starving, I have a headache, I'm dehydrated and my body thinks I'm, I'm in battle or something. 53 days of insane roads, and on this, our last day in India, on the bikes, we get this gorgeous three, four, six lane toll road expressway, which is gonna take us from Agra all the way into central Delhi. Oh, India. Yeah! 54 days. 54 days. What a day, man. What a day. All the way around India, back to where we started, just like we said we were gonna do. Pretty awesome. <laughs>